Hi friends, today I'll be teaching you how to create a project in Thunkable, how to create a game app in Thunkable. And you can use coding to make it. It's fun and easy. And you can play games with it. So let's get started. First, you're going to sign in to your Thunkable account. If you don't have one, then you can create one. And Thunkable is free. And once you get there, you're going to click create new app and it's going to show you this page so my project name is going to be fun games app and it'll ask you to select a category so you're going to select the one that you want i'm just going to select just testing since i'm doing a tutorial now if you have thunkable pro you can make your app private if you are going to use the free Thunkable, free version of Thunkable, your project will be public. And you're gonna click try it out for the drag and drop reference. And you're gonna click create. So it'll take you to this page. And what we're gonna do is it'll say screen one going to click background color right on the side here and as you can see it's just plain white so we're going to change it to a nice bright color i'm going to make it yellow because that's what i want and then i'm going to click label and i'm going to click on it so here it'll say label and i'm going to change the text and write let's play games Thanks. As you can see, that text is so small. And if you drag this, it will make the text box bigger, but not the text. So you're going to go here and click font size and make it as big as you want. I'm going to make it 28. And I'm going to drag it right up here. Now, if you want it to be bold, you're going to click font weight. You can bold. So my text will come bold. If you want to change the font style, then you can also make it italic. I'm going to keep it normal. It's also text aligned. There's a lot of things. If you scroll down, there are advanced properties, but we're not going to talk about them too much. So as you can see, once we've added our label, we're going to go ahead and add a button. And we're going to go to add component components and we're going to click the button and drag it to where we want the button i want my button right here below the text so i'm going to click it there and i'm going to make the text word search button because in my app there's going to be a word search game that you can play and i'm going to make it bigger and again you can also change the text for this too text size this is what it looks like and here if we're gonna go to the screens we're gonna click button one and we're gonna rename it to word search button and the reason we're doing this is because we're gonna be coding our button so when we go back we're gonna it's gonna be easier for us and we're gonna create a new screen we're gonna create two more gonna go to screen one then we're gonna click blocks and here we're we're gonna see ui components word search button and we're gonna click when word search button click do and we're gonna bring it right here onto our workspace and then we're gonna click core and we're gonna click control navigate to screen one and we're gonna switch it to screen two because we want it to navigate, actually screen three, navigate to screen three. So, uh, let's make it screen two actually. Um, so we're gonna go back to design and we're gonna click screen two. And again, you can change the background color. So I'm gonna make that a nice red, maybe a little light pinkish color. That should be nice. And then I'm going to click 
label and I'm gonna click easy I'm gonna type easy or hard I'm gonna add a question mark and again I can make the text bigger just gonna make the text box bigger and I can also make it bolder so let's make that bold increase the size to maybe 31 and here is my text and if I want to see what it'll look like to the viewers then I'm gonna click web preview and it'll show me how my app is so it looks then you're gonna click back to editing to get back to editing so once we've added our label we're gonna add our yes I meant our easy and hard button as well as a go back button so we're gonna click Add Components button just the way we did on the first page, and we're gonna change the text to Easy. We can again increase the font size. So I'll just stretch that and add it there. Then I'm gonna add an another button. Now, before I do, I'm just gonna click on the easy button and then I'm going to click button one right here on screens and I'm going to rename it to easy button. Oh. Then here is my second button. So I'm going to change the text and write hard. And I'm going to create just another screen, screen number four for it. I'm going to stretch, stretch it, maybe make the font size bigger. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna create one last button. So here, this is button two. I'm gonna make that hard button. And we're gonna add um, another button on to screen two, we're gonna click the button, drag it, and you're gonna drag it to where you want the button to be. So I want it to be at the bottom. And I'm gonna make the text go back. So this will lead me to the first page if I ever wanna go back. And then I'm going to name it, go back button. Once I've done that, it's about time to code my buttons just the way we did on the first page. We're going to go to blocks and we're going to click go back button. And when go back button, click do. Whoops. Then we're going to go to core, click control, navigate to screen one. And we're going to make it navigate to screen one because screen one is the main page. And so we're gonna click it and we're just going to copy it and paste it three times. So here, three. And I'm gonna click when hard button, click navigate to screen. Three. When easy button, click navigate to screen four. So screen three is for hard button. Now we're gonna go back to design. And we're gonna go on to screen three and we're gonna click background color and we're going to change it. I'm gonna make it a nice purple. Depends on what color you want. You can make your app colorful or maybe have one color theme for it. So here I've made it purple. And I'm gonna click image. Now what you're gonna do is open a new tab and search Hard word search. And you're going to go to images, you'll see a lot. And you're going to click it. And you can click to copy link. Or here's what I did. So I downloaded the image. So I'm going to click picture and then click upload files. And here I have the thing word search. Then I'm going to just make it larger so you can see because if it was small that would be hard. 
And you might wonder, well, how are the people, you know, going to cross out words? Good question. So that's when we're going to use the text input component. So what we're going to do, we're going to click text input and we're going to add about just a few. So if people found a word, they can go ahead and type it. You don't need to add too many. There we go. And then I'm gonna just add one more, maybe three actually, I'll just add three. You can add more, maybe like four five depends I'm just gonna add three right now and that's my word search but wait up we need to add the go back button now for screen after screen one we have to add a go back button if our user wanted to go back so here we're gonna click button and we're gonna drag it where we want it and we're gonna change the text to go back gonna make it a bit bigger then right here we're gonna make it go back button label it now it's time to code our go back button so we're gonna go to blocks click go back button then go to control and we're gonna make it navigate to screen one now we're gonna do our easy word search now our easy word search when we click the easy button on the screen two, which is this, then navigates us to screen four. So now it's time to customize screen four. Now we, I will be teaching you how to add more games in this app. And I'm going to make that yellow, you know, and now we're going to go ahead and search. easy word search so i think maybe i'm gonna add this flower one because it looks nice and i'm gonna click save image as word search easy so i'm gonna go back to my thunkable i'm gonna click add image here I'm gonna click upload images so here let me see i should have it Gonna go here, upload files. And I'm gonna add my word search. So here is my word search, and I'm going to again make it big. And since this is an easy word search, I'm going to also add text input. This time I'm gonna add a bit more text inputs think so so you're just gonna drag them resize if you want add them so here i'm gonna keep adding text input Can I maybe add the last one here? Actually, no. Let's delete that one. 
yes. So here I added four text inputs. So they can type the word. And I know there's more than four words. But the reason we have it is just so, you know, you can like type words. And then we're going to lastly add the one and only go back button. We're going to click button and add go back. A go back button is important on each page because, you know, you get stuck on the on a page and then you can't go back. Which gets a bit frustrating. So that's why we have the go back button. We're going to rename it. Go back. I'm going to go to blocks and code our go back button. Screen one. So our first game is done. Let's test it. We're going to click web preview and we're going to go to screen one. So this is what it'll show when they open the app. Then we're going to click word search. It's going to ask us easy or hard. Um, let's say hard. So I think I found things. I'm going to go ahead and type that here. Yep, I found B. Yeah, I also found blue. So here I can type in words just like that. I can also delete them. Then I'm going to click go back and it'll take me to this main page. I'm going to click word search and maybe I want to try a hard one this time. Hmm. Let's see, I found diving. So there the person can find words and then we're going to click go back. So that's how the app works. Now it's time we add our second game. Now our second game is a riddle. So for this, I'm going to add a button. And I'm going to change the text to riddle. I'm going to add it right here. And here it says button one. So there's a lot of button ones. So just so we don't get confused, we're going to change it to riddle. And riddle button will lead us to screen five. So we're going to go here for screen one. Riddle button. Control. Navigate to screen five. Now, if you did any wrong code, you can just drag it to the garbage button and delete it. Like that. So I'm not going to delete mine. Now we're going to go back to design. We're going to go to screen five. And we're going to maybe do maybe a blue color. Oh, that's purple. I think I'll go a little more dark. Um, hmm. Yeah, that might be okay. And I'm going to click focus so it comes in the main screen and I can see it. And for my riddle, I'm going to go to Chrome and I'm going to my search bar. And I'm going to search easy riddle. Now, you can add an easy, hard riddle in your app, just the way we added it for the word search. But I'm just going to make it simple. Riddles. And I'm going to save image. Then I'm going to click image, and I'm going to drag it here. And I'm going to click Upload Files. I'm going to click the riddle. So here I have my riddle. If you know a riddle of your own, 
then you can type that in. So that's the image riddle, but I'm gonna keep that on the side. And I'm gonna show you another way too. You can scroll up, easy riddle, you can go to all, you can click a site, so if you have a site, where you need to find a riddle, one where there is text like this, you can copy paste it. Two, using the label button. Now, for purposes, I am going to delete the image riddle, but you can add that. I'm going to show you how to do the different one. You can add text. So here, I copy pasted my riddle, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger, just so you can see. And then I'm gonna click button. This is not the go back button. Don't get con don't get confused. This is gonna be a C answer button. And we're gonna go to blocks. So wait, first before we do, we're gonna rename it. C answer button. Then we're going to go to box and I'm going to click see answer button and I'm going to click when see answer button click set see answers buttons text to the answer of your riddle. So I'm going to write egg because that's the answer for my riddle. Let's test it. So I can see an answer. And now we're gonna add the go back button. There we go. And we're gonna code our go back button. We're gonna rename it before we do. Oh, why is the text here? Go back. Then I'm gonna go to blocks, go back button. Click when go back button to click to screen. One. Now our app is fully finished and let's test it. So here is screen one and it'll say, let's play games. So I'm gonna play my riddle. Maybe I wanna play riddle. Riddle. What has to be broken before you can use it? Hmm, I wonder. I can see the answer. So for some reason. So here we just found the error. And now we're going to go back to screen five and see. So we're gonna go to blocks and you see, so here it says, and I'm gonna delete it on egg because it's an egg. And we're gonna try again. Riddle, what has to be broken before you can use it? An egg. And this thing you can forget because that is uh, just the, block thing that won't show go back now i'm gonna try my word search word search easy or hard hmm, maybe i want easy so here i'm gonna fill out my word search then i'm gonna go back and it'll take me to screen one click word search maybe i want to try hard word search whoa Word search. Now we're gonna test the go back button. So here, we're gonna click go back. It works. So our app is finished. Hope you had fun making this. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to see more tutorials on fun coding ideas.